Hi everyone, I'm Max from Jung von Matt. Thanks for having us. Today it's all about mobile creativity. Today's hack is the instant visualizer for BMW. Now, car companies now actually step their game up with a big Salesforce suite that they try to handle and they're collecting data from whoever you ask between 400 to 800 data points in a typical purchase experience of a, uh, a usual client. And uh, in this particular phase, it's really hard to actually stand out and create meaningful and valuable interactions on this purchase journey, while every one of those touch points actually generates more and more costs on the client side. So we actually see three big challenges that we wanted to uh, find a solution for in this respective case. A, users don't want to leave their social feeds since it's really the world they live in. It's tough to become a, a thumb stopper. And with every conversion and every, let's say, media break, we kind of lose 50% of our audience. A challenge two, um, there's a break in the journey from social to website, and that can cause a loss of data. So all the jobs we did with audience building and modeling and collecting this data kind of gets lost when they enter our respective online channels. And the third channel, uh, challenge is that social leads have a lower quality than on-site leads regarding behavior, interaction, and so on. So learning about our product, these are our three challenges that we tried to tackle. So the first solution to um, actually the challenge one is bring the product experience closer to the fire, so where our audience is, where our brand lovers are and experience. Secondly, collect more data early in the process to really then focus and target uh, likewise and more precise to actually convert people to our websites and sales channels. And third, increase the quality of leads in social media by collecting them. And we all did this with a really basic idea in the typical car customer journey, and that's a visualizer. Now we tried to find a way to actually stage a visualizer in a social media channel, and it's impossible regarding the limitations of the typical media formats. So we wanted to let users configure a car, in this case an X3, which comes in a variety of engine types. You can buy it as a hybrid, as a purely electric car. You can buy a diesel, a petrol engine, a very, let's say, luxurious car and a very sporty car. So it's actually very important for our manufacturers to identify which target group really wants which car and which model and collect all this data and transfer it to the markets and the sales points. So, well, there are great media formats out there, as I said, but more than most of them are not really interactive. Um, and no matter what you do, as I said, regarding polls or actually added formats, you're all good. But coming up with interactive formats, with catching formats, with, let's say, more AR inter uh, uh, interactions or new, let's say, technologies and innovations, we really, really limited. That's why we tried and came up with this hack. So we didn't build one asset, but instead we built a ton of those assets and connected them with each other, smartly linked while embedded in a smooth video experience in an instant experience format. And it looked a little bit something like this, 64 instant experiences is actually one of the oldest hacks that I already um, kind of practiced 20 years ago in Flash Action Script, but it's really still on Vogue if you want to, to really come up with a more creative format. And it's really simple at the end of the day, with every decision a user makes, he's really actually linked and converted to a next media asset. For example, if he decides, if you see in the background for a more sportier model, he would then be guided and converted in the next media asset and the next instant experience where he will be asked which color or exterior feature he wants to have with this car. And if he decides on an exterior feature, he will then be guided to the next actual media asset that has the respective color and the respected uh, um, drivetrain and so on and so on until he lands at the end of this decision journey uh, um, in a conversion to our website where we then collected data about the behavior all the online data we gathered uh, and gathered on social media about the audience and his needs and desires and the likes but we also collected data already before converting him about his or her demands regarding uh, uh, an engine type of the car, the style he likes the car, maybe his favorite color, and by that really enhancing our data game without losing too many people on the way. And for the client, for the, for the user actually um, um, generating a good uh, and exciting experience the way you see it on the right side. This is actually the instant experience app. This is the user experience, how it felt. Very high class, he was swiping through there. And if you decided for a color, you had cool uh, uh, interactions with gyroscope and so on all the likes that we love. 
uh, to make it high, glossy, and beautiful. Now, regarding results, I really can't tell you a lot about it since it's kind of highly confidential and it's all market driven. So we provide assets for the headquarters. But what is sure, we had a high engagement where the fire is actually, where the audience is engaging with their law of brands on social media, a respective time spent there. We had great market adaption beyond average. So all the markets kind of wanted to use it in their respective fields. And most of the important thing is we collected valuable lower funnel data for better upper funnel experiences, learning more about uh, the correlation between target audiences, their demand for certain types of cars, um, um, in, let's say, interaction with what they like and what they love on social media. And I think I'm through, so I would hand over to show you the case film. And again, thanks for having us. Let's fight for more creative freedom in all our formats. Have a good day and stay safe. Brands love instant experiences, but unfortunately, they're extremely limited. Images, text and videos lined underneath each other, that's it. That's why we hacked this linear format and created the BMW Instant Visualizer, the first complex interactive car styling tool on Facebook, for the launch of the BMW X3. Actually, there were 64 smartly linked instant experiences because this was the only way to implement the complex structure with model, paint, rim and upholstery selection. For the first time ever, users can style a vehicle directly in their Facebook timeline and even test drive it afterwards. The result? We inspired a very large and young target group to get involved with the new BMW X3 and arranged lots of test drives. A whole new way to generate leads in social media.